There's been a lot of chatter online about whether or not PU coated zippers are bullshit. So today we're gonna put that to the test. But first, let me give you a little backstory about the discussion. So I've been reviewing bags on the Nomads Nation channel for almost five years. We're at like 600 bags reviewed at this point. And I respond to all the comments and one of the biggest talking points in the community are PU coated zippers. Now for reference, a PU coated zipper is a zipper like this. And the only difference between this zipper and a regular zipper is the PU, which is a polyurethane coating. It's basically just a plastic coating applied to the zipper to in theory, improve its weather resistance. And that's the biggest perceived value point with PU coated zippers. And also should be noted, a lot of people just like the way that they look. They're quite sleek and very modern and techy. But that aside, PU coated zippers got some cons. The first con is the PU coating makes the zippers particularly sticky and difficult to open and to close. It does get a bit easier over time as the zipper breaks in. So we have the same backpack, just in different zippers and fabrics. This is the Air Travel Pack 3 in Ultra and the Air Travel Pack 3 regular in ballistic nylon. And this one doesn't have PU coated zippers in the main compartment. So the non-PU coated zipper took around 1.9 pounds of pressure to open it. But the PU coated zipper maxed out like 2.5 pounds. We tried to figure out a way to show the camera. It's harder than it looks. We're doing our best here, guys. It should be noted, we're not scientists. We're just bag enthusiasts. But it doesn't take a scientist to know that that plastic coating is gonna make it harder to open and close the zipper. But the other big con of a PU coated zipper is the fact that over time, especially with exposure to sunlight and humidity, these guys can peel. And it's funny, the longer I've been reviewing bags, the more I'm getting comments on the channel saying, dude, what's happening with my backpack? The zipper is starting to look, look like crap because as time goes on, the backpack niche is getting bigger and more, more people are ordering backpacks with PU coated zippers and then slowly those zippers are starting to fade and peel. But it should be noted, it's not a guarantee. It depends on the zipper brand, exposure to the elements and lots of other factors. So if the zippers are annoying to open and they can potentially peel over time, that water resistance better be worth it, right? Well, here's where the plot thickens. It's like I said, it's all fine and dandy if we're fighting water with this zipper, but the reality is, or what a lot of people are saying, is that sure, while this polyurethane coating is stopping water from getting into that area, technically along the edges of every zipper, are seams, right? Because these zippers need to be sewn into place. So while, yeah, you're getting a bit more water protection right there, the water is still going to easily penetrate the seams above and below the actual zipper itself. Or is it? That's what Tav and I are gonna find out. So let me run you through the experiment and how we're gonna do this in our non-scientific, but nerdy and, you know, endearing way. We're gonna make this work as best we can. So for what we did was we got a bunch of swatches sewn. Special shout out to our friends at Bag Me in Vietnam. And you can see we've got three swatches for each fabric and each fabric has its own zipper that we're gonna be testing. So for example, we've got three canvas swatches, one with a regular zipper, one with a reverse coil zipper, and one with a PU coated zipper. A quick note on reverse coil zippers is that most modern backpacks these days are in fact reversing their zippers. And what that means is instead of a teethy zipper aesthetic like this, you get a bit smoother of a zipper aesthetic like this. So we wanted to add both zippers to the test to cover all angles. So we got the three in canvas. We've got three swatches in X-Pack fabric and three swatches in ballistic nylon. We chose these fabrics because they're some of the most common materials used on backpacks these days. And it gives us a decent spread of options as to where canvas is cotton, ballistic nylon is nylon, and X-Pack is a fully waterproof modern plastic fabric basically. Now let's talk about the methodology. We're gonna focus on one fabric at a time and we're gonna spray the living crap out of it. 30 sprays each with our dyed water. And we're doing dyed water because we're gonna put a sheet of toilet paper underneath each zipper. So we can A, visually see with the blue dye how much water has penetrated the zipper and been soaked up by the tissue paper. But also B, we got the scale here that Tav just had on hand for very suspicious reasons. And we're gonna weigh the before and after so we can see how much water the toilet paper actually soaked in. And then we'll put everything into a table so it's neatly organized. So we're gonna do a little baseline test, see what the weight is of three sheets of toilet paper. Measuring in grams, we're clocking in at 1.6 grams. So any weight over that will be the water that the tissue paper has soaked in. All right, I got the swatches set up. Now three sheets of toilet paper per. All 
All right, so we've got the toilet paper placed directly underneath the zippers. Oh yeah, we're lined up. It's spray time. Yippee ki yay, mofos. One, two, three, four. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. So we set a timer for five minutes because the goal of this is to try and simulate some real life experience. We know it's not gonna be perfect, right? But at the end of the day, if you are caught in a rainstorm and you get 30 sprays, a comparable of rain on your bag, you're not gonna be able to just take the bag off and dry it right away. You're probably still walking with it. Some of that moisture soaks in. And you can see right here, it's interesting. Each fabric's gonna sort of react to the water differently. For instance, canvas is known to be just a very water resistant fabric. Should be noted too, this is not a wet canvas, so there's no like layer of waxing on it. It's just the cotton. All right, five minutes is up. Let's go ahead and take these off. Oh, we got some wet toilet paper over here, guys. This is going to be very interesting. We gotta make this fast. Clock is ticking. Ooh, oh sh Uh-oh. Okay, guys, we had a little bit of a spill. So this is not the most, most, most scientific, but as you can see anyways, it looks like actually the PU coated zipper did very well. So for the first one, which was the reverse coil zipper, we're coming in at 4.15. For the second one, which is the regular zipper, 3.45. And then for the PU coated zipper, call it 3.39. So interesting, for test number one with the canvas, the PU coated zipper did perform the best with the regular zipper right behind it and the reverse coil, a pretty distant third place. We did have a little bit of an incident as I was trying to take off the fabric, so not 100% perfect, but at the end of the day, if you saw it visually, the PU coated zipper definitely performed the best. No questions, let's move on to the next fabric. All right, next up we got ballistic nylon with the reverse coil, the regular zipper, and the PU coated zipper. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty. He's saying nine thirty. Okay. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes, and now we wait. Now, some quick notes about nylon. A lot of people believe that nylon is more weather resistant than polyester or cotton, but in fact, the opposite is true. Nylon has a tendency to absorb water, but the perception that nylon is actually quite weather resistant in itself comes from the fact that a lot of modern bag makers are usually coating nylon with some sort of DWR spray. And DWR sprays are absolutely super weather resistant, but they do fade over time. Now you can reapply DWR spray yourself, if you wanna get like extra nerdy with it. But nylon is a great fabric for backpacks, usually more for its aesthetic and its abrasion resistance, but it still has some decent weather resistance as well, just not as much as polyester and cotton. All right, two, one, let's go. All right, reverse coil zipper first, regular zipper, easy, there we go. And then for our PU coated, there we have it. All right, so reverse coil zipper, 3.6. Regular zipper, 3.6 as well. And then for the PU coated zipper, 3.3. Consistent, right? I mean, the first two zippers sort of performing similar to each other, letting through a bit more water. The PU coating, not waterproof by any stretch. Still water is getting through, but less so than the other two. But even just visually, it looked like there was just less water being absorbed. It's not much. We're not getting a lot of extra weather protection when it comes to those seams, but it is, there is something there. This means that so far, PU coated zippers aren't complete BS, but that's what the third test is for. And maybe even a fourth test, but first up, all right, it's time for the X-Pack experimentation. Toilet paper is in place. You kill my father, prepare to die. Five, six. Woo! Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Some quick notes about X-Pack. X-Pack is a very modern and cool material. It's a triple layer fabric with a laminate. It's very crunchy, it's kind of plasticky. It's actually made by a company called Dimension Polyant and they make sailcloth for sailboats. And then one day someone's like, yo, that sailcloth is cool. I'm gonna put it on a backpack. And now like there's this whole subculture of people who love their bags made out of X-Pack. All right, a couple seconds left. Let's see what the X-Pack experiment shows us. Two, one, all right. This is the reverse coil. Ooh, we are, got a lot, a lot of water went through there. 
the regular zipper, less wet, PU coated. Oh my God, Tab, that one's looking pretty bone dry to me. Did you spray it properly? I did, dude, 30 sprays. I sprayed the crap out of that. Wow, the reverse coil got nailed, dude. You ready? 7.1. Wow. Regular zipper, 3.05. And the X-Pack, oh, bone dry, 1.65. Wow. But also like, you know, kind of did. I mean, that's crazy that nothing got through though. Tap, why didn't the reverse coil zippers perform so poorly? Because the other side of the zipper has more surface area. So it's more water through. Interesting. All right, last test, Tav wants to see if we can penetrate the X-Pack PU-coated zipper. Let's get this in place. How many sprays this time, Tav? 90. 90, he's sick. All right, let's go. Okay, yeah, we're, we're at critical capacity. It is. So basically we're at a position where we're testing out what happens when we literally like soak, like just let water sit. A little lake of blue water chilling on the zipper for how long? Should we do our five minutes? Let's do five minutes. Hey Siri, set an alarm for five minutes. We have let this X-Pack PU coated zipper combo soak in water for nearly five minutes. All right, let's see what we got. It definitely got through, Tab. Whoa, so you can see right there, if you let the water pool up like that, as you can see, if you put enough water on any backpack, it'll definitely get through. So what do we learn here today, guys? We learned that Tab and I are not scientists, but we also learned like this is a really cool conversation. And the whole goal of this video is to continue that conversation. PU-coated zippers definitely seem to work in some capacity. It just depends on a lot of circumstances. Who made the backpack, how well it's made, what fabrics are being used, if there's a weather resistant spray, which direction the rain is coming from, a lot of factors. So this is where I wanna hear from you guys. After this test, do you still think that PU-coated zippers are worth it? You know, the extra strength it takes to pull it, plus the peeling potential? Or does this maybe change your mind and rethink your relationship with PU-coated zippers? Or are there things that we could have done better with this test that you wanna see us redo in another video? Please let us know. Like I said, our goal is to contribute to this conversation and help make this bag community as awesome as we can. And if you're in the market for a weather resistant bag, I definitely recommend watching this video here where we show you some of the best weather resistant bags that we've ever tested. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron, this is Nomads Nation. We'll catch you guys next time.